On a winter night in 1951, young Bishop Munson responded to a knock at his door. A German church member from Ogden announced his brother's family was coming from Germany and would live in the 6th, 7th Ward. He asked if the bishop would go with him to survey the apartment he had rented for them. On their way, the visitor, Carl Gertler, told Bishop Monson that he had not seen his brother, Hans, for many years. Arriving at the corner of 4th South and 2nd West, the two ascended a staircase. It isn't much, Brother Gertler said, but it's more than they've had in Germany. As Bishop Monson surveyed the cold, uninviting apartment, he recalls, I was heartsick. I thought, what a dismal welcome for a family that has endured so much. Tom did not sleep well that night. The next morning in Ward Welfare Committee meeting, one of his counselors asked, Bishop, is something wrong? And I told the committee members of my experience, it was as though the spirit of the Lord just enveloped us. And they said, what can we do about that, Bishop? Edward Eardley, the group leader of the high priest, spoke up and said, I'm a master electrician and have three helpers. We'd like to rewire that place. And I have contacts with those who sell refrigerators and those who sell stoves. And I'll get one donated, a new one of each one of those. And then another person spoke up, namely a painter, contractor, Brother Bowden. He said, I'm a contractor for painting and I can get my paint less than wholesale, and my crew and I will paint the house. And then that wonderful Relief Society president said, Relief Society women do not like empty cupboard shelves. We'll fill them. And we went about doing that. We had two weeks to do it. The night the Gertlers came, they showed the appearance of someone who shed many tears. And all the way up the staircase to the second floor, I remember Brother Gertler saying, now it isn't much, Hans, it isn't much, but it's the best we could do, it's the best we could do. And then they opened the door. Talk about a vision. There was a nice carpet laid by my counselor who was a contractor for carpet laying. And then there was the wallpaper all nice and new and the painting nice. There was the Christmas tree all decorated absolutely everything anyone would need. I was 15. I was a very insecure teenager. We had not had a real home since before the war when our apartment building was bombed. So we always had to double up with other families and to walk into an apartment and to know it would be ours was just beyond comprehension to us. It was like a shock. I couldn't believe it. And he put the key in front of me and said, you are in your own apartment. As we left, and our little band who'd done all this work came out onto the street, and they were silent. And they said, uh, why is it? that this will be the best Christmas we've ever experienced. I said, do you remember the final verse of Little Town of Bethlehem? No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him yet, the dear Christ enters in. He entered in to the apartment he entered into the lives of all who were part of that experience.